modifications of living organisms. In this topic, we covered about what is biotechnology, what are the different definitions of biotechnology, and how this biotechnology can be taken into existence, either in the ancestry or at the modern setting. So we discuss about step by step what is biotechnology, what are the specific features of biotechnology, and different types of biotechnology in this topic. Coming to starting with this biotechnology, this biotechnology comes is uh, made up of two words, bio plus technology. As the name indicates, bio means the living system and technology is the implications of technology in the living system. This term is coming from the Greek word that bio means life, technology is skillfully made to be, and logos means study or essence. That means the study of tools from living things is termed as the biotechnology. In general, we can say the biotechnology is the application of scientific and engineering principle to the processing of material or biological agents to provide goods and services. In another definition, we can also say in the simplest way that any technique that uses living organisms to make or modify a product to improve plants or animals or to develop microorganisms for specific uses. This biotechnology includes technique that use living organisms or part of such organisms. This has to be for the development of certain specific products, improvement of plants or animals, then development of microbial for specific uses. Now, the question is coming in the mind, why we need this biotechnology? What is the reason behind using this biotechnology? Nature has an source of variations. Here in this picture we can see that green has many seed pole colors and patterns in nature. But still, whether these variations at the natural level is tremendous at the level of human needs, the genetic variations, whatever the bad desires is at the level of in our team, daily need, or we have the implication in our daily life, the answer is no. The nature has limited variations. So, the coming is their biotechnology which creates the variations at the natural levels. Here we can give these two examples like whether we talk about the developments of food with vaccines. Is it possible at natural level? The answer is no. So, the answer is coming only with the help of biotechnology. Yes, through biotechnology we are able to create the foods that produce vaccines. Similarly, we have the certain technology that is used to improve the nutrient quality of grains, the biofortification, development of transgenic crop, transgenic animals that is done only through the biological features, which is not done through the natural process. In classical terminology, we can say the biotechnology was first came into introductions in 1970 to describe process using living organisms to make a product or run a process such as industrial fermentations. In layman language, we can also say that biotechnology began with when women began to plant their own crops, domesticate their animals, and ferment juice into wine, make cheese and even bread. So this came to the starting of your biotechnology era. Where we can utilize the organism or their organism or the biological process to make product or to solve problems for the welfare of mankind. According to the standard definitions coming from the conventional or biological diversity, biotechnology means any technological application that uses biological system, living organism or derivatives thereof to make or modify product or processes for specific applications. Now, what is biotechnology basically? The biotechnology is an interdisciplinary branch of science that involves various streams like we have the biological sciences, genetics, biochemistry, microbiology, we have chemistry, we have food science, we have food technology engineering, we have mechanical engineering, electronic, chemical engineering, biochemical engineering, material sciences and computer science. All they can club together to make the biotechnology. 
Now, when this biotechnological concept come into existence, someone says that biotechnology come in last three or four decades back, but answer is incorrect. No, biotechnology is not a new branch, but it is as old as the civilizations, as old as the development of human civilizations. Like we have this biotechnology starting from the process of fermentation. We all know that in our day to day life we are using curd, we are using pickles. That curd and pickles are developed through certain process to make utilization of certain microorganisms in a specific product. And that is a process is called the industrial biotechnology or fermentation biotechnology. So this is the biotechnology which is in our ancestry system. Similarly, we have the fermentation in old biotechnological process. This is called by a cellular purpose, prolonged soaking of grains or by shorting use of foods or pulps. Then other processes, development of production of alcoholic beverages, cleaning of bread, production of vinegar, production of curd, this is also the part of biotechnology. Nowadays, if we are talking about the recent biotechnology or modern biotechnology, then we can say that this biotechnology achieved the greatest advancement in the field of recombinant DNA technology. PCR, cell culture, fusion, gene cloning, DNA fingerprinting, environmental engineering and immunology. What is recombinant DNA technology? As a name indicates, recombinant DNA technology. That means utilizing certain technology to modify the DNA of an organism by introducing certain specific genes which has a specific characteristics coming from another species or another organism. That is the recombinant DNA technology. PCR, this is a key milestone in the biotechnology field that polymerase chain reactions. This allowed the amplification of DNA. In a small period of time, we can make billions of copies of our DNA. Then cell culture, under artificial or aseptic condition, we are able to develop the cells, develop to make tissues, organ, so that we can utilize this cell culture's water welfare of the human beings. Then we have DNA fingerprinting, this DNA fingerprinting technique is used to identify the certain cases like we have to identify rapists, we have to identify victims, we have to identify certain disputes like parental disputes, even we have to identify the varietal differences, development of new and new varieties through DNA fingerprinting technology. Then we have environmental engineering where we can develop certain product, we can modify the organism, we can modify the certain products. Then we have the technological aspect where we can develop the immunity, we develop the antibody, we can develop vaccines, monoclonal antibody can also develop the immunological aspect. Then what are the different stages of biotechnology? In broad sense, we can define the stages of biotechnology in three. First is ancient biotechnology, then we have the classical biotechnology and modern biotechnology. The ancient biotechnology, as I already told you, as old as the human civilizations. Then we have, we have started with the development of food, shelter, domestications, etc. Then we have the classical biotechnology, built on ancient biotechnology. Then this, this involves the fermented, fermented food products and certain development of certain medicines. Then we have the modern biotechnology which incorporates the manipulations of genetic information in the organism that is a genetic Then if you talk about the simple history of biotechnology as I already told you that the biotechnology, the first phase of biotechnology is in 6000 BC where Sumerians and Babylonians do the technique of preparing the Then in 2500 BC, Aryans started preparing curd. 2000 BC, Greek were totally first to prepare cheese from milk. Then, 1822 1895, Bruce Parshall, who is well known as father of microbiology and father of industrial biotechnology, discovered that this produced alcohol in wine and corruption bacteria produced acetic acid, causing swelling of wine. Later on, 1929, Alexander. 
rhythm that is discovered antibiotic primarily. Then in mid to late 1970s, the Gentech, a pharmaceutical company, the first company that established in 1976 by Robert Eastman and Albert Boyer, that commercialized the recombinant DNA technology. This is the first successful genetic engineering experiment led by three scientists, Boyer, Merck, and Popper. This is a key milestone in the era of biotechnology. The starting from we can move that 1865, the first experiment led by Dover Mandel on T. And according to that, they postulated the genetics law, law of genetics. Then 1928, discovery of Palancy, as I already told you, and by Alexander Fleming. 1953, the another key discovery in the biotechnology. That is the discovery of DNA structure by James Watson and Francis Crick. They gave the double helical structure of DNA. 1972, first recombinant DNA was only two was developed by Bohr Cohen. Then 1978, first recombinant insulin was developed by Gentech. Then 1980, first biotech patent granted. The US Supreme Court granted patent for genetically modified bacteria that is well known as super powers. 1983, another key milestone in the biotechnology that is the development of PCR technique polymerase chain reactions by Karen Willis who amplified the DNA. Then 1990, first gene therapy that is SCID serial combined immunodeficiency patient will be treated by this gene therapy method. Then 1994, approval of genetically modified tools. The first is the flavor saver tobacco. Then 2001, completion of human genome project. Then 2012, CRISPR Cas9 gene editing technology was developed. And 2020, recently we know about the COVID 19 pandemic in the world, which is the, uh, the biotechnology, Pfizer, Biomed, Moderna, developed and similar RNA vaccines against this COVID 19 virus. Then branches of biotechnology, we have four major branches of biotechnology. Red biotechnology, green biotechnology, white biotechnology, and blue biotechnology. Coming to these biotechnology, first the red biotechnology, that is biopharmaceuticals, is a process that utilizes organisms to improve health care and help the body to fight diseases. It is a branch of modern biotechnology that is utilizing the field of then green biotechnology it is the use of genetically altered plants for animals to produce more environmentally friendly farming solutions. Then we have the blue biotechnology as a reindicated group that means the water. That these are the biotechnologies deep with the modifications of organisms available in the water, water system. Then we have the white biotechnology also well known as grey biotechnology. It involves industrial processes chemicals, development of new fuels for vehicles. White biotechnology also meaning industrial biotechnology. Then in last I am just concluding that today's talk with few points like today we discuss about what is biotechnology. The biotechnology is the production of interaction between biological science and modern technology. Then during the last two decades biotechnology has achieved greatest in the field of recombinant DNA technology, polymerase chain reactions, DNA finger painting, CRISPR Cas technology that is called as genome editing technology. Being a branch of advanced biological science, it has also attracted many multinational companies. Then we have known as the insulin, the key discovery in the biotechnology, that is production of low hormone, and these are the greatest blessings of. Right. This world 